please tell me why this nigga is in Hawaii. Before he could reply, he just processed my refund because he know he wrong. Needed the $500 to pay for your lifestyle. Just say that. Baby, we is in a whole pandemic and you playing dope fan games. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Madison. If you're not new to my channel, hey, welcome back. So today's video it will be the story time of how i got damn how my birthday was basically ruined and just caused a whole bunch of unnecessary ass stress if this nigga would have never tried to fucking play with me but we just want to get right into the video y'all um make sure you like comment subscribe hit that post notification bell and let's just get right into it because i don't feel like doing long intros y'all want to hear what's tea so we finna we finna spill the tea let's fucking go so like I said, my birthday is December 17th. As y'all know, December is the last month of the year. Oh, I literally been waiting all fucking month long, all year long for December to hit because it's around my birthday time. I already planned on what I wanted to do for my birthday, how I wanted my birthday to be, but I just didn't know what I want to wear. So one day I'm on Instagram, y'all. I'm scrolling on Instagram, I'm minding my business, and I see this girl that I follow with this beautiful ass dress on, y'all. Her dress was literally so fucking pretty. Like, she had tagged the Instagram page of where she got the dress from so i clicked on the page y'all hella hard eyes for the page like the dresses are literally beautiful i'm talking about he making prom dresses for bitches like any dress you could think of he literally has it on his page and the shit looks good like it's not cheap choppy looking work and at that i'm seeing all positive comments i'm not seeing a bunch of comments saying where's my order i'm not seeing comments saying he's a scam don't shop i'm not seeing none of that shit like i'm seeing positive comments i love my dress this dress is so cute i can't wait to get my dress just purchase it's so pretty like I'm seeing a bunch of positivity so I'm like okay so I saved the post Mind y'all, I seen that post, I want to say sometime in October, because I saved the post and I didn't automatically buy the dress. So, I saved that and I was like, alright, I'm going to get my birthday dress from here. Like I said, I already had everything planned. Okay, so fast forward to November, when I ordered the dress. I ordered it the 1st of November. So, boom, November 1st come around. A whole day at school, I'm looking up and down this nigga page. I'm on his website. Like, I'm trying to figure out what dress I want to get. So, we're going to call the nigga who scammed me. We're going to call him Flighty, because Flighty was taking mad trips mad flights should we call him sonic because you know sonic be running away and shit and he was definitely running away from making my dress so we gonna call him flighty but i may switch his name to sonic sometime in the story time but the scammer nigga in question his name is flighty okay or i might just call him the nigga <laughs> okay boom i ordered from flighty's website november 1st at 405 mind y'all this wasn't no instagram boutique no instagram you know no instagram kind of store this nigga had a whole website y'all like that's how order was so pretty like literally it's so pretty i'm so mad that this story time happened because i would still fucking wear the dress like i would literally still wear the dress if i had the time to get it remade i filmed this video november 26th my dinner is december 10th so I buy the dress, y'all. I immediately get an email confirmation of my order number or thanks for shopping with us. It says, so the dress was $435 plus, but he had a shipping rate of $19. Tax was $0. In total, with Flighty, I spent $454. So I get this email confirmation and I don't get no more emails. Like it's ghost on Flighty. And mind y'all, I only follow Flighty's business page, like the page where he posts his dresses. So after I got that email confirmation, like I said, I did not receive any more emails. Like it was just ghost on that nigga and he did not send me nothing else. He Mind y'all, in Flighty's business page bio, he has his main page. So November 15th at around 11.37 a.m., I, I clicked on Flighty's real Instagram page and I seen he had stories. Mind y'all, he had not been posting any stories. He had not been posting anything about him making dresses, about him working on dresses, none of that. So you know how businesses will post like, oh, we're making orders, y'all, or we're shipping orders. He was posting none of that on his page. So I'm, you know, I'm concerned. I'm nosy. I just basically gave this nigga $500. So yes, I'm going to do some investment. Investigation. Yes, I'm going to do my research. Yes, I should have done this before I spent my money on it. But like I said, the page and everything looked legit. So I wasn't thinking nothing of it. I goes and I clicked on his story. Mind y'all, this is November 15th. This is November 15th. So 15 days since I placed my order with this nigga. 15 days since I basically gave him $500. Okay, so so I clicked on his main page story, y'all. And please tell me why this nigga is in hawaii yes y'all honolulu hawaii i'm oh, ah, the 
looking at the picture right now. This nigga's in Hawaii, y'all. This is what I seen when I clicked on his story. I'm about to catch a case. He's in Hawaii, girl, sipping big drinks. He on the beach. Let's go to the beach. Be yeah, he's sipping drinks, girl. Not a care in the world. Not orders in the world. He not think about making no orders. He He's in Honolulu. <laughs> so after I see that, y'all, I'm just watching his stories. This nigga turning up, girl. I see drink after drink after drink. Okay, taking him to the head. Shot, 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 shot. Taking shots to the head in Honolulu. Okay, he young and turned. Then I see him posting a picture. It say 13 hours ago, and the caption is Paradise Poppy with some palm trees. Paradise Poppy with some palm trees again with the location Honolulu, Hawaii. It had only been 15 days since I placed an order. And on his business site, it says it takes three to five weeks to process your order and another seven days to ship. So processing to me means making the dress, you know, you adding the rhinestones, you doing all of that kind of shit. Mind y'all, like I said, I ordered it November 1st. I needed it December 10th, December 9th. So I thought I was in the clear. So when I seen that, I'm just like, bro, it's been 15 days since I placed this order. This nigga's all the way in Hawaii. Do y'all know how far that shit is? Like, that shit is far as fuck. And let's be realistic. He's not in Hawaii making dresses. Like, and I'm pretty sure he has other orders to make. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only motherfucker who ordered a dress through November who needed it in December. Like, I know I'm not the only one. So, it's not just my order he has to make. He has a few orders to make. So, what are you doing in Hawaii sipping drinks on the beach? Talk about Paradise Poppy. Paradise Poppy, nigga, are you in Hawaii with my money? Did I just fund you to go to Hawaii? <laughs> man, <laughs> shit, they got serious, man. But like I said, I'm thinking all this in my head. Like, I'm not saying enough, I'm not going crazy, nothing. Because like I said, it had only been 15 days. So, like I said, I'm going to insert a picture of the dress that I ordered on the screen. So, the dress that I ordered is very, very complicated, y'all. Like, that motherfucking dress has rhinestones. It has feathers. It's like, I don't know, the back is kind of like a gray back. So, it's like a lot of sewing. It's very tedious. Like, it's very tedious. So, as complicated as the dress is, if you're in Hawaii right now, God knows when the nigga got back. If you even giving yourself enough time to even craft these dresses and make these dresses because November 15th will leave you with two, three, four, five, six leave you with 23 days to basically have the dress to me and, and your deadline that you have on your own website so that i think that you should follow as well you feel what i'm saying like it would only give him 23 days so i was just a little bit concerned if honestly you don't have no time to be taking trips but but you know like i said this was only 15 days so i'm gonna play this shit out he still has time in his deadline for it okay cool y'all so four days go by again i don't see nothing on his business page i don't get no email saying hey y'all orders may be delayed i don't see none of the sorts so again what i do i take my happy ass on his account and this is now november 19th november 19th i went back on his main page from his business account because he has it in his bio like i said went back on his main page and what do i see i see that now he's in houston texas okay the niggas in houston texas clicking drinks at some kind of bar because in the picture that I'm gonna put on the screen, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's five drinks in. So my good sis is pulling up. Okay, bitch, he in a club on a Tuesday. Don't have no worries, baby. He's clicking everybody up. Pull me up. Okay, he has no worries. So I see this nigga in a club, y'all. This nigga smoking hookah. My got vodka bottles and red bulls talk about the i want to get fucked up combo meal does that sound like somebody who's making dresses who's fulfilling orders that they have does that sound like anybody who's doing anything of the source does that sound like somebody y'all would want to give 500 dollars to for a birthday dress that you need in what 20 more days it was just in hawaii drinking being a paradise poppy sipping drinks on the islands he said fuck the yams baby i'm going straight to hawaii cool shit i ain't blame you now you talk about the i want to get fucked up convo with a, a bottle of vodka and a red bull right beside you do that sound like somebody who's making dresses doing orders does that sound like somebody that y'all will trust like i, I just want to know and shit y'all so i peep that i'm getting worried now because the time is ticking and the two times that i did view his story in a four-day time span the nigga has been out partying drinking 
not working on or and then even if he is making dresses i don't want him making my motherfucking dress on the i want to get fucked up combo on the vodka and red bull combo baby don't make my dress you probably hung over trying glue rhinestones on the motherfucker trying to glue the fabulous fucking fabulous pride cricket rhinestone right here when it's supposed to be right here i don't don't even touch the motherfucker okay don't even touch the motherfucker just wait till you completely sober and and whenever he felt like he was completely sober, probably, and I know for a fact, would have been too motherfucking late. It would have been my dinner and the dress would have been in my door. Like, that's how you know because he's not working on it. And like I said, the dress is complex, y'all. So if he had it already been started working on the dress from the day he received my order, or fuck it, three or four days after that, the nigga wasn't doing it. Because when he received my order, I'm 99.9% .9 sure he was on his way to Hawaii. So you weren't working on it. Like, you, you weren't working on it. You got home and you decided to go off for more drinks and you still weren't working on it so where's the dress because now it's november 19th mind y'all i need the dress by december 9th my birthday is, my dinner is december 10th where's the dress I then I searched up his TikTok name. I searched up his TikTok name and I just searched up like reviews, bad reviews, not getting my order. I'm just trying to see like, is there any bad reviews? Nothing comes up about his business TikTok. So on his business TikTok, I'm looking at all the comments, y'all. I don't see nothing for like five videos. And then I come across this one comment. The girl says, I do it take five weeks. I'm just patiently waiting. He replies, because I have to hand make these. Did you order? Okay, these are handmade handmade and i get a lot of orders so it takes time to work magic thank you for your order oh my job i'm in my head like okay so he just admitted that these are handmade and he has to hand make them which eliminates him having an assistant which eliminates him having help which eliminates him just having a second person to make these dresses while he's out in Honolulu, Hawaii, while he's out in Houston, Texas, and all the bars and all the hookah lounges. Oh, may, may I fucking mention, the nigga was at the strip club too because he posted some bitches on a pole. So he was at the strip club too. That's where he was, the hookah lounge, the bar, and the fucking strip club. So these dresses are handmade, which means you're the one making the dresses. And if you're in Honolulu in bars and hookah lounges and strip clubs, you're not yeah, making dresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point proven. Okay, cool. So, where's the email? Where's the update on your site? Like, hey, y'all, orders may be delayed. All orders placed November to December may be a little pushed back. So, please don't order if you need it on a specific time date. Where's that at? Where's assuring your customers their order's gonna come? You just go ghost from your business page and a nigga has to basically investigate and be a fucking private investigator to see where their money went to. And their money is going to causes that they didn't want it to go. Nigga, I didn't pay you that damn near $500 so you can smoke it and fucking drink it up with vodka and Red Bull combos. I didn't pay you that. Bitch, I don't even buy that shit for myself or my mother. Like, I don't, I didn't do that for you. We cool, but we ain't that cool. You feel what I'm saying? With me seeing that, it just confirmed, like, bro, he's not making the dress. Dress is not gonna be here in time. Then everything that I got, all the accessories, the heels, Everything is centered around this dress. The hairstyle I was gonna do, the makeup, like everything is centered around this dress, bro. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Y'all probably like, Maddie, how do you know that he's not little by little working on your dress while he's going out to bars and shit like that? Like I said, the dress that I ordered is very complex, y'all. So, so his minimum work that he probably did on my dress would not make it be done and make it be at my house in the process of time he has on his website y'all he had that shit on his website so i feel like he should stick to that i honestly just don't feel like the nigga even started on my dress like i just don't feel like it them being handmade my dress being as complex as it is him me every time checking his story he's out getting drinks getting fucked up not posting no orders on his business site y'all that business page is probably still dry to this day like he's not posting no orders nobody is saying they order has been received business pages literally went ghost but you click on his main and this thing is turning up having the time of his life how the fuck is that fair to other people it's not so with all that being said i was honestly just astonished like i just was fucking astonished i did not know what to say what to do none of that hold on y'all i need to take a sip of water because this one the story really goes downhill like it was already going from bad to fucking worse y'all hold up okay cool so boom so Sunday, November 20th, I checked his story again, y'all, and I see that this nigga is posing a bottle of vodka to his head and a countdown that says Rich Day, which is his birthday. 
So the next story after he posts a tell me happy birthday and it's like a um it's a question shit you can type in you know on Instagram. So I simply typed I said is there any updates on my dress and I did my order number. I didn't say hey bitch where the fuck did my $500 go because I peep you're in Hawaii. I peep that you're in Houston, you're in hookah lounges, you're in strip clubs and I'm just concerned because you yourself stated that all these dresses are handmade. So have you been working on dresses? You know on Instagram when you type a question in somebody else's question box and they click on and they answer your question, the notification comes up on your feed. So hours are going by, minutes, seconds, all that shit. I don't see no notification. He's not answering my question. So I click on his story and I see that he's answering everybody else's happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, but he didn't answer mine. Okay, cool. So I peep. I don't say nothing, y'all. I don't reply to his stories. All I did was type that question. So Monday comes around. This is Monday, November 21st. I don't see no notification. I don't see none of that. So I go to search up his main page off my main page and it's not popping up. I don't see anything anymore. That's fucking weird. Okay, cool. So I go, like I said, y'all, he has his main page on his business Instagram. So I clicked on his business Instagram. I'm still on the business Instagram. I can see that motherfucker. I'm following that motherfucker. But his Instagram at is now gray. I know that shit is normally blue. His shit is gray and it's not clickable anymore, which means the bitch ass nigga blocked me. He blocked me, y'all. He fucking blocked me. After I said an tell me happy birthday shit and I asked about my order, I was blocked. That nigga didn't reply. He just blocked me with quickness and quietness and swiftness. So he blocked me. So after I peep, he blocks me. I view his story from my spam. And I peep, he's in the Houston, Texas airport or wherever he's at. I don't know, but it looks like an airport. And he says, we out. Nigga, y'all out where? So while I'm on his page, I also see that he's been posting three recent pictures. Mind y'all, the business page is still dry. Nigga has not posted nothing on his business page, but he flicking up. He posted pic after pic on the main page, baby. He's living his best life. Oh. He's living his best life. Oh, whoa. On Madison Wise's dime. He's living his fucking best life. Like, he he's living his best life so you can update your main page but you can't update your business page and let people know that their fucking orders are going to be delayed you can't let people know that they might not receive their order when they think they do like you can't send an update that's all i was asking was for an update and i felt like he was being very shady and very slick and very sneaky when he blocked me when all i was doing was asking for my order and if, mind y'all i almost forgot to mention i'm so glad that i didn't forget to mention this november 15th at 8 27 a.m i sent him an email about my order and Y'all, I got no reply. Like, I got no reply at all. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure this nigga got the email notification that I had emailed him about my order. He probably was just like, fuck that bitch. I don't know if he was on that it gets you fucked up combo that day. I don't know if that nigga was on hookah. I don't know if that nigga was being a paradise poppy in Honolulu. I don't know what the fuck he was doing that day. But I got no email back. Like, the nigga did not email me at all, bro. It it's like, bro, I try to be professional and I try to be nice and simply ask you if I could expedite it. And if you think it would get here in time, you ignore me. So then when I ask you again, is there any updates? Not where it's at, is there any updates? Both times I asked about my order, I'm getting ignored, I'm getting blocked. You're a fucking weirdo, bitch. You trying to scam, but I got something for your badass flighty. So after I peep all day, I'm tired of being quiet. Like I'm tired of shutting the fuck up because I honestly feel like you're playing in my face and you just block me for no real reason at all. So I commented on his post, one of his recent ones i commented right on that bitch i said why would you block me when i asked about my dress next week will make a month with no words on my dress i don't know what kind of business you running with blocking customers when they inquire about their order when you don't respond to emails but i would like a refund bookie you weird as hell traveling on other people's dimes and not working on anybody's dresses when you yourself say you're the only one who makes the dresses you're getting white girl wasted all month and week you're not working on anybody's orders right so why haven't refunds been sent out where customers are that their orders are delayed i see where my 500 dollars went on your birthday weekend occasions that's really sick and inconvenient you would do that to people y'all few more days of him ignoring and getting white girl wasted we would have been at december 1st which would make a month since my order you're beyond your own process and time buki so where's the dress like i'm just inquiring now i'm really asking you where's the dress at first i was inquiring is there any updates can i expedite the shipping on the dress now where's the dress because you're blocking for what like 
I texted him, I said, if you needed the $500 to pay for your lifestyle, just say that, bitch. They wanna give your ass $500 to be taking trips to Hawaii and shit. Baby, we is in a whole pandemic and you playing dope fan games. I need all my 500s back. I don't give a fuck if it's in nickels, pennies, cash, dimes. I don't give a fuck. I just need my bread. I don't even want the dress no more. It be a little drunk making my shit. Since you've been turning up all week. Uh, and I said again, oh, and happy belated birthday too. I'ma still need my motherfucking money back, baby. I know grandma threw a little something, something in them cars. So get the pay me back. I don't give a fuck about your non-refundable policy because I have yet to receive my order. He has a non-refundable policy on his booking site. So bro you got all these policies but you not following them yourself that's the problem with all these instagram stylists and instagram people in general bro these motherfuckers got an essay a pba thesis conclusion introduction paragraphs of fucking policies but when it comes to them the business owner the managers the ceos they're not following it baby that policy only do for the customers when it don't just wake up and $500 is shitting on my ass. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's $500 that I gave to you with the impression I was going to get a dress that I really, really wanted and I really, really needed and that I really, really motherfucking paid for. So I sent both of them messages at 12.36 p.m. y'all. At exactly 12.41 p.m. I received a notification saying it's processing a refund to your card ending in my card number in the amount of $454 y'all. So he seen my two messages and my comment. Before he could reply he just processed my refund because he know he wrong. Does that sound like somebody who had the dress made was working on the dress or was preparing to ship the dress? Does that sound like somebody who would do that? Just issue a refund don't even want to reply or a address the allegations or address why I was blocked or give me an update like I've been asking for or answer my email does that sound like somebody who had the dress pre-made you know he had already had the shit made it was ready to be shipped all that shit bro no that sounds like a guilty ass person who know he wrong and who just was like look I don't want to deal with this crazy ratchet ass bitch I'm gonna just give her her motherfucking money back after he sent the refund to my car he replies he said bitch who the fuck you talking to weird don't even know you fuck i look like stealing 500 dollars. be fucking for real bitch you look like a paradise poppy stealing 500 dollars. bitch you look like what god made you to look like stealing 500 dollars. what the fuck are you talking about who what i look like stealing 500 dollars? like you too good for 500 dollars, bitch clearly you needed the money and then he also said, bitch, you weird as fuck. I blocked your thin hair ass because I don't want to hear that shit on my birthday, the fuck. I just canceled and all bold your order because you're rude as fuck. It's a three to five week process of time for the order, which you clearly didn't read. All of this is November 21st. I ordered it November 1st. A few more days of what it made December 1st, which was a month. Where is the dress you didn't say the process of time was a month you didn't say the process of time was too much you said three to five weeks weeks so you're tiptoeing on your own process of time because three to five weeks is running out i said bitch i'm not reading all that he said fuck your grandma before i have my grandma I whoop her bald-headed ass then don't text bullshit fuck my grandma I, nigga i wasn't even being disrespectful to grams i just said i knew she gave you a little something something so that's 50 cent nigga fuck your baby my daughter. Yo, daughter, nigga, fuck that bitch. Nigga, it's almost been three to five weeks. Where's the dress? Because it has. I don't I don't know why he's trying to emphasize his policy to me as if I'm not following the policy when bitch ass nigga, you know your damn self, you didn't make the dress, and three to five weeks is almost up. Pussy boy, it's the 21st that this happened. Few more days, that's December 1st. That's a month, nigga. One month. One month. Fuck is you talk about? He like, you don't run shit. Canceled. I said, my nigga, I don't care. Like, you're hella childish and you're pissy as a bitch. He said, bitch, you weird as fuck. Okay. I said, I just said I don't want the shit. Are you dumb? And the drinks get into your ball sack ass looking head. He said, okay, and I canceled it. And I said, because you can't read and comprehend. And I'm going to turn up on my birthday. Fuck is you saying? You not making no sense. I said, but with other people money? Question mark. And you know yourself you have dresses to make? That's not fair to everybody else. He said, I have other jobs, boo. Laughing like shit. You don't know, B. You another bitch in the views talking shit. I'm another bitch in the views talking shit, bitch. I'm another paying customer in your views talking shit so how many of these pan customers you had who are talking shit and who didn't get their order how many of those you had next week would have made a month like you're beyond your own process time that's not fair to everybody else you delusional as fuck he said and it would have shipped out this wednesday 
this Wednesday would have pushed us to November 30th. So he's saying that my dress would have shipped out this Wednesday. So my dress is done. My dress is done, right? If my dress would have been shipped out this Wednesday, my dress is done. Because you will only have only have three days to work on the dress. And you sure my dress would have shipped out Wednesday? It sounds like is that my dress is already made and you would have went to the post office and shipped it out on Wednesday. So my dress is already done. So you're sitting on a pre-made dress. You see how it just don't make sense? Like he's just talking to talk. He's just talking out his ass. But it's really just giving me more ammunition to make the conclusion that you never started the dress. Like you didn't make the dress. You didn't start on it. You're just spending other people's money frivolously doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And when you feel like going back to wherever the fuck, make these dresses and create these beautiful ass pieces, you're going to do that. But it's whenever you feel like it. It could be beyond your process of time. When your process of time, it don't matter, bro. You said three to five weeks not no month hey y'all so editing maddie here um i accidentally deleted a part in the messages where i was like explaining but the next clip y'all see i'm just gonna jump right into explaining his next message he said which was fuck your b-day so in that message where he said fuck your b-day it was clarification for me that he received my email and that he read my email because i had said nothing about me needing a dress or my birthday outside of that email i initially sent him november 15th so he read the email and he chose not to respond or not to give me any update on my dress just initially blocking avoiding me all that shit so to come and drop that down on y'all before y'all be confused or anything like that i love y'all so much i'm gonna get off this camera let y'all get back into the video get in the tea girl listen it's crazy i know but thankfully i have found replacement since i got my shoes i got my dress i'm actually looking at it right now so stay tuned for my birthday video we gonna have fun i'm not gonna let this shit get to me because i already did and i was crying about it i was just so frustrated and stressed out but that's above the point love y'all thank y'all for watching Mwah. mind y'all let's go ahead and rewind back to when i said i sent him the email on november 15th i said i was inquiring if it will be here in time for my birthday dinner my birthday dinner so him saying i don't give a fuck fuck your b-day means that he had to read my email because i didn't say nothing about needing the dress for my birthday until i sent him that email on november 15th so he said fuck your birthday which means he read my email and i still didn't get no reply so you're just a ls liar ass bitch like i said you're a scamming ass bitch and you lack customer service and if you needed the 500 dollars to tend to your lifestyle and buy drinks you claim you have other jobs bitch that's a fucking lie everything you say to me is a lie because you're a scammer so once a liar always a liar 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 pants on fire flighty sonic yeah he said i don't give a fuck fuck your b-day i said all right i don't care because at this point it's hella childish like you just clowned out i don't know how the fuck old this nigga turned 21 20 i don't give a fuck how old he turned he's fucking childish as shit like i'm about to be 17 and i'm not even this childish and i'm literally still a teenager like and i said fuck yours as well stink because it's really your birthday my birthday is not until december 17th so i don't give a fuck about you saying fuck my birthday my shit ain't even here yet so he blocks me off his main page but he didn't block me off his business page so i goes and clicks on his business page y'all and he makes a story three minutes after blocking me which says my new stock just reloaded a lot of orders will ship out this week thank you for your patience which means people have been waiting for their orders beyond your policy and him saying a lot of orders will be shipped out okay so a lot of people have been complaining about their orders a lot of people have been waiting for their orders you have a lot of orders to ship out and then thank you for your patience so people have been waiting and you know people have been waiting but you don't give a fuck because you're gonna turn up because it's your birthday yo just inconsiderate ass shit bro like just inconsiderate ass shit but later on that day, I think or like five o'clock or something, that money cleared in my account and I was just 454 more dollars richer, bitch. Okay, that motherfucking money went straight back into my savings. Yeah, baby, I ain't even finna play with you. Ain't finna play with you. my Drewski shit. Like, I'm not finna play with, bro. What he did was honestly clowned out as fuck and I will never be shopping again, bro. But like I said, he had met the right bitch, bro. The best decision was for him to do was just give me my motherfucking money back. Because, bitch, I wasn't going to stop till I got my money back. Like I said, $500, damn near $500 is not no chump change to me. All right, if it was like $50, $20, I would have still been mad because money is money. Fuck, I don't give a fuck if it was 25 cents. Money is money. It's hard out here. Like I told his ass, it's a whole pandemic. If you weren't going to make the dress or you knew the whole month of November you were going to be turning up, you should have posted something. You should have told people like you should have made it known you feel what i'm saying don't take people money 
you see people ordering dresses the whole month of November, and however long you have been sitting on finished dresses, unmade dresses, I don't know what the fuck was going on in his motherfucking apartment or his business room. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck was going on. But like I said, something should have be issued out to customers. You ignoring customers, you're blocking. You 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 get it too smart to be running a business, baby. Like if you was in Baltimore, I might have would have put these bitches on you. No lie. Like I ain't even finna sit up here and hold y'all. This girl was in Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, just really be careful, be safe who you invest your money and who you spend your money on, who you shop with, because as y'all can see, it's people like this still out here in 2022, almost 2023. Yeah, it's lethal out here, baby. So strap your money up, put that shit in the seatbelt. Love y'all. Bye, besties. I'm gonna see you on my next video. Mwah.